Project Desert Money. This is my new 89 Jeep Wrangler. I bought her from Utah and drove her back to Oklahoma. She's got a 4.2 liter carbureted engine with a 5 speed. Everything is stock on it. What I plan on doing is putting a 5.3 out of an 04 Tahoe that I've built and a transmission out of a 79 one ton Chevy pickup, an SM465 with a 205 transfer case into this thing. I also have axles from a J10, it's front and rear Dana 44, they're 410 gears. I'm going to build my own one ton steering for the front. Not sure yet on how high I'm going to lift it. I don't really want to lift it too much. I'd rather cut the fenders out and keep the center of gravity low. I have a stubby winch bumper for the front already. So I'd like to record and in capture in as much detail the process I go through uh, converting this to a V8 with a new transmission and a full width axle swap, as well as building your own steering. Hopefully y'all like it. I'll show you guys what I got going on so far. So here's the motor. She's pretty much all the way done. I don't really want to put too much more on it before I take it off the stand. Basically stock, I just rebuilt it and put a mild Texas Speed cam. Used a truck stage two low lift. So hopefully that works out pretty well for the application. So these are the axles here. They're out of a J10. 74 J10. I just recently took the steering off. I'm going to build my own one ton GM steering and I'll show you guys how I do that in a later video. They're front and rear Dana 44s with 409 gears. I'll grab a light and see if I can't. I don't know if you guys can see that but 409. So I lucked out pretty well on those. I would actually driven over three hours down to Texas to pick up some axles and they were supposed to be 373 gear out of Wagoneer. Showed up, there were actually axles out of a Cherokee so that wasn't going to work for what I'm trying to do. And luckily we went in the back and found this old 74 J10 that had been sitting there all beat up and they hooked me up, they threw it on their lift and actually cut them off for me. So I really didn't even have to do much. For transmission, I decided to go with an SM465. Also has the 205 transfer case. Still need to get a yoke for it. I more wanted to stay manual, but I wasn't exact. I didn't want to spend the money on an NV4500. And honestly, this isn't going to be a highway driver so I don't mind not having an, an overdrive and I'm gonna try and do a few things tighten up this steering it's real loose I've got a couple different ideas uh, I'm gonna make my own I'm not gonna use the mechanical throw out I'm gonna make my own uh, hydraulic throw out I'm not sure if I should use if I should make a bracket and use like a push style slave cylinder or if I, I should actually get hydraulic throw out bearing it will actually seat right on here where the original throw out bearing actually rides so that's the drivetrain I've got so far still gonna work a few other bugs out and hopefully I can get the hydraulic system working pretty well on this but uh That'll be a video for another time. Uh, for flywheel, I'll go over this a little more in depth another time. I'm using a Sax 1050 wheel to make up for the space that these LS motors, because the original small blocks had just a slightly longer 
crank 0.4 inches so this flywheel is actually going to take up the space that way I can actually run this using this LS7 pilot bearing which is massive and it's actually going to sit here I'll actually show you on this other motor I have instead of sitting inside where a normal pilot bearing would it'll actually sit in this outer race so 